Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Dominique, aka Legally Bomb. And if you are not new, meaning you have already subscribed, thank you for joining me. As you can tell from the title, we're going to be talking about my Invisalign. So if you want to know more about my Invisalign, please stay tuned. But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed. I'm at 430 subscribers as of like an hour ago. So that's 70 away from 500. So, if you're not subscribed, before we start the video, be sure to subscribe. I have a video about, um, sorry if you see my phone lagging because I have notes, but I have a video about my braces before I got Invisalign, and that was like, and I got my braces off in October. So, that had to be in like September or August or whatever. And I talked a little bit about Invisalign, and I, did, I couldn't really speak too much to it because I did not have it. But now I have Invisalign and I am on my sixth tray. So if you already watched my, if you haven't watched my braces video, go ahead and watch that. But I will give you a little synopsis, I guess you could say, of my um, orthodontic journey. So I first got braces to fix the flaring in my mouth, meaning that, I don't know if you can see, but when I turn to the side, it's it's oh it's really is this up on my teeth? One of the reasons why you don't want Invisalign, you lipstick it on there. But when I turn to the side, there's like a little flare out at the top. You can't really it's not it's not as prominent as it was because this is like year two of me having braces. 2019 will be in December of 2019. That'll be three years. So two a uh, little over two years of me having braces so that's the original reason for me getting braces in the first place i started out my braces off in missouri and so um once i moved back to north carolina i had to find a new orthodontist and i'm thinking like okay i'm kind of tired of wires um i wonder if i can switch to invisalign so i asked if i could switch to invisalign and they said that i could which was i thought was all right like i thought that was cool like I was hype about it. So and, uh, the reason why, if you look right here, if you see right here, I don't have teeth right there. That is a part of um, my treatment plan that will help reduce the flaring that I just tried to, you can't really see it anymore. Um, but that will help reduce the flaring. That will bring my teeth back into my mouth. Um, I didn't have to get teeth pulled. I could have just got my teeth shaved down, which I already have had. And it's literally like they just take like an emery board in between your teeth and just go back and forth and file your teeth down. But not like to a pencil point or anything, just to create space in there. And I could have done that, but I did not want to. I told my organizer, I was like, I'm already paying all this money. I want optimal results. So optimal results for me meant getting four teeth pulled, which I don't. I didn't really care. My mom was not with it. She did not like that. But here we are. They're gone. But um, that's why you see... The missing teeth. Alright, so boom. So in order for me to get my Invisalign, I had to get my braces taken off. So um I got my braces taken off, my metal braces taken off, and so um I went to my orthodontist and they did a little like a scan, I guess you could say. They took this little thing and they like literally like rubbed it on my teeth. And it was taking a picture of my teeth and it was creating the molds. Well, it's not creating the molds, but it took a picture of my teeth. So that way my orthodontist could create the molds that I needed for my Invisalign. And so also before I could actually get into my Invisalign, I had to get the four teeth pulled. So I get my four teeth pulled, all that heals. Fast forward to Invisalign. For me, my Invisalign treatment is 46 trays. Um, I don't know if that's a lot or a little bit, I don't know. But um, that's what I have, um, 46. And I'm currently on number six out of 46. So yeah, we got a long way to go. But um, for me, I change my Invisalign every 10 days. So I got them on like the 9th or the 19th or something. So every time there's a 9 and the date, like the 9th, 19th, the 29th, I have to change my trays. So it kind of like, I literally, so I guess I wear them for like a week and a half. Yeah, I wear them for a week and a half. And it kind of just like flies by. Because I feel like I just changed this tray and I'm going to have to change it on today's. Thursday, I'm gonna have to change it on the 29th, which is in a few days. So, 
That in that aspect, it does kind of fly by. I told you about my Invisalign. I told you why I got Invisalign. I can tell. How much did they cost? I did have insurance, so my insurance covers some. And that's another thing about Invisalign. It is expensive, and insurance doesn't. You don't get the most insurance benefits when you choose Invisalign. Had I had stuck with metal braces. My insurance would have covered a lot more. I think the total for my Invisalign was five thousand dollars, and I had to pay two thousand of it, or a little over two thousand of it. And my insurance paid three, or something like that. But I think with my with metal braces, they paid more. I think the total is like five or six thousand. I know I have to pay like two thousand or a little over two thousand. And the cost will vary based on your treatment, how long you have to wear them. My treatment is supposed to be for a year. Yeah, I have a whole year to go. That's why, and that's another reason why I decided to switch because they told me I had another year, which I was like, well, I don't think I can do another year of brackets. But in hindsight, yeah, but we'll get to that. So the pros of Invisalign, Um, I guess the pro would be how fast it is, how fast it moves. It does move faster than typical braces. Like I said, I change my trays every 10 days. And so when I had, as opposed to traditional braces, I was going to the orthodontist basically like every month, every month and a half. Now I only go to the orthodontist every two months and that's just for him to make sure everything is aligned, like everything is, um, going according to plan but he doesn't like he doesn't have to do anything to my mouth when I go as opposed to when you have traditional metal braces they have to you know change your wires and all that other stuff and give you power chains or not or no power chains or whatever so to me and mom I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's a pro the only pro I can really think of right now is the time but the cut now the cons The first con of Invisalign is the pain. These things hurt so bad when you first get them. I I have a very high tolerance for pain. Like I got my wisdom teeth pulled that afternoon. I was at cheerleading practice when I was in high school. Like I have I can take pain. I, I, pain does not bother me. But this these Invisalign it, it brought tears to my eyes. Like I had to take a hydrocodone so I could just go to sleep. And it hurt for like two weeks. Granted, braces, traditional braces do hurt as well. But this pain was different because when you put a tray on, it's, I saw this somewhere and it said it's kind of like your teeth are being shrink wrapped. I compared it to, I never wore one, but a waist trainer. I feel like it could feel, it's like a waist trainer for your teeth. So it's like it sucks your teeth in to position. And you can tell the difference in... You can tell when you don't, you can tell the difference in having them on and not having them on. And when you first get them, your teeth have to adjust. Now I can say being six trays in, the pain is not as bad. I actually really don't have a lot of pain anymore at all. It'll be like a little bit of soreness, but they tell you to switch them at night so that you can sleep through the initial Can you leave that in your video? What? You can't, nobody can see you. I know. I see you. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> but now that I have, I'm in, in my sixth tray, I don't, the pain doesn't bother me anymore. Another con, you have to take them out every time you want to eat. Like you literally cannot chew with them. And it doesn't sound like a lot when you say it, but once you realize how much you eat throughout the day, like especially like when you're at work or something, you want to snack on something, you want to chew some gum, eat some candy. No. Mm -mm. It's going to come to a point where you're so tired of removing them from your mouth that you just don't even care. Like I think now I eat probably once a day, maybe twice. If I'm just like starving, I'll eat lunch at work, but... When I'm at work, I do not eat because I don't feel like, like it's such a hassle, especially when you first get them. Your teeth are going to hurt so bad, you're not going to want to take them out. It's going to make you want to quit, honestly. 
But after you get used to it, it's just the hassle to have to take them out. You know, then you take them out. It's slobbery. You gotta put them in the can. I'll eat when I get home. You're supposed to take them out when you drink anything except water, but I don't do that. Cause I mean, I really only, I don't drink a whole lot of like juice and stuff like that, but if I do, I'm not taking it out. But I will say, a tip when you first get them, I would advise you to eat like ice cream and mashed potatoes, like vanilla ice cream, just because like you can't really see it. But if you were to eat something like, I don't know, strawberry ice cream or something, you could possibly see the pink in your braces. But just eating like mashed potatoes and things that are like soft and white, um, you can't, you won't be able to tell that you were eating while you had your trays in. Because when I first got them, I ate a lot of mashed potatoes. Cause I was not taking these things out, and it was cause it it just hurt so bad. It ooh ooh. Mm. So yeah, that's the eating and drinking thing. It really is a con. It's more so eating as opposed to drinking. And I was telling somebody that it's annoying that you have to take me. I was like, well, it doesn't sound that bad. I'm like, they're like, it doesn't sound that bad. I'm like, it doesn't sound bad. But when you think about it, how many times do you put stuff in your mouth throughout the day, like? First of all, you eat breakfast, so I hope you eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. So that's three times. But then you have in between that, between breakfast and dinner, how many times are you eating snacks? Especially, you know, people who like like to work out and they're on their little like six meals a day and all that stuff. You're not going to want to do that. Because you got to take them out every time. It's just, it just becomes a hassle. Especially like when you're in public at dinner and stuff like that. got to excuse yourself from the table. Now I just take them at the table because... I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like going through all that. Y'all just gonna have to see these trays and it's drool. Whatever. I guess like another pro, let's go back to pros. I'm looking at my list. I guess another pro, I got two more pros. They're not as uncomfortable as traditional braces. With the brackets um, from traditional braces, they definitely can rub on your lip. I didn't really have that problem. Well, it is a little, sometimes the tooth point, I guess you could say. The little humps on the Invisalign, they do kind of irritate your lip a little bit, but it's nothing like um, braces because it's nothing like scratching up against your lip. It's pretty smooth. It's just like your teeth are in your mouth. They just have a little covering on them. And then uh, this is the, what I'm about to say is the number one reason why people get Invisalign. People my age get Invisalign because you ask them why they got Invisalign. I'd be like, because I'm too old to have braces in my mouth. I'm too old to have metal on my mouth. And I'm just like, I mean, if that's a pro for you, that's a pro for you. For me, I didn't really care about having braces. I was just tired of the feeling of them. I didn't care about the look. But a lot of people get Invisalign for vanity reasons because they cannot be seen. So that might be a pro for somebody. I don't care. But for you, as an adult, you're like, oh, I don't want to be 25 with metal on my mouth. I don't want to be 30, 35 with metal in my mouth. You know, okay, I get that part. So, that's a pro. You can't see them. It depends on what you're in it for. But that's another pro. Con. Another con is that, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, if you're a girl and you wear, like, lipstick and stuff like that, even if you wear, like, new gloss, it's going to get on your Invisalign. It never fails that I always get lipstick on my Invisalign. So, I always have to do, like, the finger trick to make sure I get it from inside my lip because as soon as you put something on your lips, it's going to touch the end of the line. So when you smile and you see the lipstick, it's just a thing that happens. Another con, you're going to lose weight. You're going to get smaller. I promise you. Because you're not going to eat. You're not going to want to eat. Especially like the first two, two and a half weeks when it's painful. You're, you're not gonna wanna eat. And then like I said, now I probably eat, like if I'm at work, I probably, I eat a lot less at work than I do when I'm at home. But at work, I literally eat, I don't eat at work. So I eat once a day. The days that I work, I eat once a day. So eating once a day is not really good, but I don't feel like it. So if you are looking for, so you know what, that could be a pro for somebody. If you're looking to lose weight, and you also want to fix your teeth, get you some Invisalign. Because I promise you, you will be lighter. Promise. Since, I, since I've got my Invisalign, I think I'm like five pounds lighter. But I was also sick the week before I got my Invisalign. But between me being sick and Invisalign, I lost 10 pounds. 
Bible. I'm not lying to you. For me, I'm not mad at it. I put that in the pro. But for somebody else who's already small, they might call it a con. It depends on what you want. Hi. Glass half full, glass half empty. Depends on what you like. Another con, or not a con, but just a thing about Invisalign is you have to, it's really hard to get them out if you don't have like acrylic on your nails. Cause I just took my acrylic off my nails. It's been so hard to take my Invisalign trays out with just like my regular natural nail. It's like you need that hard thing. Um, you need that hard nail to get it out. I, after I got Invisalign, why I watched it after, I don't know. I watched like another YouTuber's video about her Invisalign and she said that she always keeps acrylic on her thumbs for her, to take her Invisalign out and I absolutely, if you're a female and you don't wear acrylic but you're about to get Invisalign, I absolutely recommend doing that. Like Now I can kind of push my finger up against it and just slide it out, I don't have to use my nail. but starting out it won't be that easy so if you're about to get Invisalign you don't have like acrylic or hard nails I, I suggest you get like just on your thumb you just need it on your thumb that's what we talk about the care of Invisalign so like I said so as far as care you're supposed to take them out every time you eat right so before you put them back into your mouth after you ate you're supposed to brush your teeth another reason why I don't be want to eat who has time for that you want to really like brush your teeth every time you eat no they do suggest that if you can't brush your teeth, you like run some water through your mouth. I will not lie to you all. There are times when I have my Invisalign and I eat something and I just put my trays back in, you know? Judge me if you want. I don't care. Judge your mom. It is what it is. It's, it's, a, it's really a hassle, like for real. Invisalign is really a hassle. So, um, yeah, you're supposed to like Brush your teeth every time you take them out. And I don't see why. Like, you do have food stuck in your teeth. But, oh, what's a little food particle going to do? You know? And what else do you And then every morning when I brush my teeth, because um, you're only supposed to take them out to eat and to brush your teeth. You sleep with them in. You wear them all day. Only take them out to eat. Because you have to wear them for 20 to 22 hours a day. I think 20 is the lowest. I've seen different numbers, but I know it's like 20 to 22 hours a day, you're supposed to wear Invisalign. So, you know, I'm supposed to say about to eat and brush your teeth. So when I take them out to brush my teeth, I also brush my Invisalign. I just have like a, like a travel type toothbrush, like nothing major. And I just add toothpaste to it and I just brush the trays like I would brush my teeth. It's kind of like you got dentures. And then when you get your, well, at least for when I got my Invisalign, they gave me these little cleaning crystals that you put in like warm water and you're supposed to put your Invisalign trays in there with it. And I tried it, but it tasted like chemicals when I put it back into my mouth. I don't, I'm good on the chemical taste. I don't, I don't want that. So I just brush mine every night and every morning when I brush my teeth, I brush my trays. So on my Invisalign, you see, let's see. On my invisible, on my teeth, I meant. I have these little notches. Let me take them out. I have these notches on my teeth. It's kind of hard to see them because they're like tooth colored. Okay, like, you see like the little things that poke out. That's what you use to. Um, That's what you use to like hook the aligners onto your teeth. The little, I don't know how many I have. I got two or four up front and there's some all the way back. Only teeth I don't have on are these two and these two. But they're little things that they put on your teeth to, you see what I'm saying? Like, ugh. To help your aligner stay on your teeth. All right guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. I tried to cover as much as I could remember about my Invisalign, but um, I may have left some stuff out. So if you have any more questions about my Invisalign, let me know down below. And if you would like to see like treatment update videos, like 
I'm on number six. Let's say I do like another update video on like Trey 16. I don't know. If you want to see an update video, give this video a thumbs up. And before you exit out of this video, please be sure to subscribe. We are almost at 500. And maybe when I hit 500, I'll do a giveaway. Wink, wink. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.